think across the road they would call that a swing and a miss. Oh, hello. I mean, you think you're going to be getting a, a look at the volley when you hit a forehand that good. Is bringing the heat early. We're told that forehand was 104 miles an hour. of rich quality. Yes. He's found the line off that one. He likes to hit that backhand return down the line. Big point. Can't give Alcaraz that many opportunities. Three doubles in the game. And he's up and running in the last of the quarterfinals. Oh, that's quality, the approach perhaps just a little shy. Now look where this ball bounces. It's not very deep. That gives Sinna time on the ball. He can hit open stance, closed stance, indoors, outdoors. It don't matter. Poor game from the 19 year old. I think one of the reasons this guy ascended up the ranking so quickly was because of the technical ability, like Ricardo Piatti as a coach, but also. Very importantly, and Alcaraz is similar in this department, the ability to practice with so many good players there. It's invaluable, the feedback you get. Hello. You've got to actually swing harder for more control. First time he's at the four and return to that spot. That was early. Oh, he's made it. He had a little look and he's executed. Oh, how good is this from both players? Good uh, feel, it's a lot that. for Alcaraz to do here, but on the spin, this is sensational. Check this out. All kinds of whip and dip. Body weight 
his momentum was going forward so quickly, it was almost like he just yes. couldn't break. I mean, look oh, at his feel on this backhand lob. He hit some ridiculous lobs early on in the season. You just get the feeling he loves his craft, doesn't he? And he has been all over that second serve from the very first game, and especially so on the deuce side. And these are the net skills that we were talking about. I just feel as though the, the early doubles are inhibiting Sinner, just being a little tentative at the moment. Yes. One of the things I really enjoy. It's not easy to do. Put on the brakes there, didn't he? He's in trouble here. He's compromised. He was early on the swing. He's lucky to find a piece of the court there. He'll take whatever he can get to get out of this game. Long game, Sinner. A long game. The one that Yannick Sinner comes through unscathed. I wonder a few people taking their time to get back in their seats. Then, of course, beat Federer from a set down. Two sets to one down, in fact. Got up. Oh, how clever was that? It was in the court after he played on here, weren't they? There were so many holes in it. He was never intimidated taking them on. Once again, the defense. And are so good. Thirty-one. That's a double-handed slammer. Fourteen, that's it. From Stace, the nineteen year old. Still gonna cut it. I love the urgency here, Nick, to get to the drop shot as quick as possible, to take it at the pinnacle of the bounce. And this way, Senna can be Nice and aggressive with that passing shot. The tougher it is. I get the feeling he's making a lot more first serves to the juice court versus the air at the Our moment. Montage, Alcaraz. Long game, Alcaraz. Some Fourth strike into the highest quality. That back in the day, as it was one Carlos Ferrero who and ironic beat in the final here back in 2003. Let's not forget that. <laughs> and the opposite has been true. Good. Making him feel the heat, isn't he? New ball, How please. Early is he taking the return right now? It's another break. Alcaraz back in front. It was quite week one of the US Open. It really was. Uh, uh, 
too many better. Creativity. Thy name is Carlos. Those two shots couldn't be any different. Powell driving backhand initial. And then the deft feel with the lob. Set point. And percent Alcaraz. Sudden return from the teenager from Spain. Who has taken an opening set. He leads Yannick Sinner, 6-3. Like he didn't do Mark, like he didn't Wimbledon, Nick. Yeah. And again, the problem he has off that serve is that he's just kind of looking for the forehand, so he's sitting in the backhand corner, and there's some space there. And he knows it. Believe it or not, it is the slightly tougher return to hit. That's unlucky. Your standard volley here because of Alcaraz's ability to recover from this position. Absolutely, Nick. But that shouldn't be going anywhere near the service line. It should be very short in the box in his prime matches either Better angle. That is sweet. Boomski. Good night. Ninety one mile an hour rip snorter. Our stats of the matches, that's where we get a lot of our information from. Oh, that is heavy. Getting a taste of the own medicine, isn't it? Such an intelligent serve. He used it a lot on his way to the title in Miami on the hard courts earlier this year. Oh, stop it! Talk about I see you, I raise you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wonderful tennis. And Sinner again making a clever choice. That's something that both of these two share the ability to finish points off at the net and do so with considerable aplomb. They are no one-trick ponies, these guys. 
great vision. Spectacular movement. That's what makes this matchup so exciting. Practicing with top, top quality players. He's bringing it, isn't he? Right now, he's center. Well, this is center at his vintage best. Look at the height of that ball compared to that one. It's a nice balanced portfolio from center. Six winners each side. Oh, come on! Change up of the serving pace, the angles, the feel. Again, Sinner. I think mentally they're both excellent, incredible fighters. Sensational from Carlos Alcaraz. Standing O. He has got no business making that shot. None whatsoever. Check this out. Electrifying the crowd. Oh, that is sensational. It's just breathtakingly beautiful. It's the four in with a straight elbow. Well, side to side as these guys do. So again, it was a volley of excellent choice, wasn't it? Just the vision. It's one thing, as well as having the vision, but then being able to execute it. You've got to hit it softly to that point. You've got to remember to cover the cross court pass. It's the easier one. Game, Alcaraz. weather around. Dirty love. Momentum is an amazing thing, right? That body serve, a slightly slower one, has been a bit of a revelation, hasn't it? Check this out. Swing of the pendulum occurring right now. And Carlos Alcaraz is riding the wave. He's up 6 5. circumstances his head what his yes. charge is able to do and then recover there's still work to be done check this out boom Quick recovery good night
believe it? Can you believe it? After all the brilliance that we have seen, Nick. Yes. Credit to Sinner here, though. This was a great dig, wasn't it? Off the lob. Yes, he should have made it, but he's done well here. Anything over the net. Anything. And he's got a two sets to love lead. Some strike. Alcaraz 19 wins, 11 defeats in the breakers. Caught the line by a whisker. using the full length of the court. Yep. The way he is down, eyes down to the level of the ball to play that drop shot. You see it better. on him the old dipper ripper combo <laughs> such dynamic movement Three, two, of the highest Alcaraz. quality both players showcasing all their skills how's this Elevation sensation from the Spaniard. Sampras esque. Otherworldly. That's another one of astonishing shots Four, from Sinner. Sinner. I mean, I'm thinking regulation volley here. None of that. Into the back end, get a slightly weaker reply. And from here on in, it's just a blazing vector. And if you look very carefully, you'll see a vapor trail. Triple digit forehand, 100 miles an hour, that one. This is quality. This is tennis of the highest quality. Select the line, Nick. Let's take a look. He finds the gap. Oh, yeah, comfortably in. First ace of the set. How's your timing? He's brought out the Kenny Powers fastball at precisely the right moment. Oh, he's got it! And second set, Not Tino. sure it was the cleanest return of his life, but it might be the most valuable. 
The last of the quarterfinals is all square in New York. It's one set apiece. Was this clean? Did I do him a disservice? It was not clean. There was a lot of hex spin on it. Got a healthy chunk of the frame. Wayne McEwen has just been out, I can tell you, and has informed both players that the roof is closing. Which is exactly what's happening right in front of our eyes here. Had read the body serve that occasion, didn't he? It's a big hole given what happened in the last 15 minutes, I think. volley yeah he has kept his composure perfectly here <laughs> perils of coming in against Alcaraz have been illustrated beautifully in that particular exchange Alcaraz almost throwing this ball at him as if to say how can you hit a volley that well Dropping stuff. Uh, uh, the first set percentage is nose dived. Uh -huh. Wow, he's given Arker as a taste of his own mids in there, isn't he? How bold was that? 106 miles an hour. Wasn't clean either. Oh, the left foot sold him down the river. They just rushed him. Hey, listen, sort of had a, a miss hit on set point, didn't he? Yeah. Lip read what Darren said there. Wasn't oh no. Can't defend against shot making like that. It's early. It's hard. And it is awfully close to the line. Is just money. I mean, the combination of these two shots. It's in the Jagger Richards range. Technique perfect. Just in case you lose position and they score. Score with that for one a few times tonight, isn't he? Up to number two in the world in the live rankings as well. It's also another incentive. I expect that's the last thing on his mind right now, though. Well, because generally he then gets a forehand off the 
next shot. And that was struck at 107 miles an hour. and it's anything but folks Take with the ball first, right? Yep, definitely. So I think Damien's definitely got the, the not up part wrong. <laughs> Doesn't take long for this guy to turn a negative into a positive, does it? Four of 17, so he went through that period where he had nine break points and wasn't able to convert. So, 10th time lucky. of Sinnott not finding its range. So you know what, you don't see him miss at that back end that badly yes. too often. to the course. I'm not sure we've ever seen court coverage quite as good as this, have we? 14, 15. I mean, it really is nuclear athleticism. I mean, that's the thing about these tennis players. You've got to be able to play for four hours. You've got to be like a marathon runner. out of their seats appreciating the raw athleticism of these guys two heavyweights going out of toe to toe Game pinpoint to accuracy and a return of impeccable length Far away from getting a record on that one. 30 love. Mm -hmm. yeah, 
So much strength from our crush. Must come from the ankles, mustn't it? The ankles, the calves. And as a recover from these positions. Missed it by a country mile, though. From defense to offense in lightning quick fashion from Carlos Alcaraz. Yeah, this time it's his turn to kiss the line. What a strike. That is poetry in motion. That ball does not deviate on its path. take the opportunity to move in front. And it's not a bad return, but the fact he's taking it early, it's just taking his own time away, and you get no time to recover. A shot taking a foot inside the baseline here. With plenty of safety built in. Definitely got a piece of the line. Didn't he? This was... Just in case of anything will do. That was not... Did he take his racket away there? <laughs> Mesmerising and magnificent. Yes. Tells the simplicity of this point. The execution. Oh. Once again. at the quality of which we're witnessing here. Mind-blowing. advantage for the Italian. Got it. And he's got an iron grip of the breaker. 5-0. See now. Always a dangerous approach shot the inside in forehand. The dynamic movement of Sinner. So impressive. Of a third set tie break. And Yannick Sinner takes a two sets to one lead. He's got his eyes on the prize <laughs> of a place in the last four in New York. Sinner leads two sets to one. Wonder how much mental scoring is going on there. He must be thinking, I should have been off here. Done and dusted in straight sets. Five set points in the second set, serve for the third, and I'm the one who's two sets to one down. Those hand skills are a joke. Boy, he's attacked the volley. Over the day. 
15 tot 2. New balls, please. And the approach. Something we're not accustomed to seeing. Game. Some crushing forehands. Gets hold of a point. And there's no mood to let it go, does he? This is the fall. Twenty-fourth break point of the evening for the Spaniard. Italian number one. Well, I've seen a lot of good Grand Slam matches this year, Robbie, but I'm not sure I'm none better than this. I mean, the quality has been off the charts. Laps and concentration, but it hasn't lasted long. And it's just been raining down winners. He's insatiable. <laughs> Sinner's played four or five setters here at the US Open. He's only lost one. And that was the first one he played actually against Karen Hashinov back in 2020. He's won his last three. Of course, two have been this year. his way out of it impressively. Well, right here, you've got to call 911 because Yannick Sinner has got out of jail. He has stolen that point from the Spaniard. No business winning it. He's made some space for himself. Not this time. Yes. We're, tra we're tracking that, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Well and truly. He's moving like he was in the opening game of this match. Combination of foot speed and anticipation. Use of the left hand to sneak that by center. Again, 
sets in a match. Alcaraz. Carlos Alcaraz. Three sets to two. Books his ticket six, three, to the last four six, seven, in the six, most seven, remarkable seven, five, fashion. Six three. A night that no one will ever forget. Surely, here in New York. Ends with the warmest of embraces. That was special.